As all eyes look toward the Atlantic, the Nueces County Public Health District is preparing for this year's hurricane season. The health district houses one of the state's biological safety laboratories, which stores biologicals like anthrax, botulism, and even the plague. There's a system in place to ensure those don't escape the lab in case a hurricane damages the facility. Our Michael Gibson walks us through the protocol. The Nueces County Health Department has scientists working in its laboratories most every single day especially since the pandemic began. It's had to analyze some 5,000 COVID-19 tests. Now, the scientists here are also certified to handle biological material like botulism and anthrax. Before Hurricane Hannah hit, those biologicals were being stored here. The policy is written, and this is by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, that if you have an imminent threat of a hurricane pending to hit, then you have to destroy all these biologicals. Because if something were to compromise your building, if the wall were to fall down and these viruses were to get out, you could actually cause worse harm to the community. Those dangerous biologicals were all incinerated. So why are those toxins and diseases actually stored here? Well, that's so the CDC can check to make sure the lab is properly storing the materials. The government sends the labs the test kits so they can call the scientists here and also check to make sure they handle the material correctly and they know what it looks like under a microscope. As we use them to actually validate that our staff's competent in their jobs. And so uh, ever so often, CDC will send something to us basically kind of like a test and saying now it's time for you to take a test. And so we want you to go to row C, column D, and we want you to pick that pathogen out, and we want you to run it, and we want you to tell us what exactly you got. And so after we run it, then we come back and we say, oh, we got botulism. And they're like, oh, oh very good. That's exactly what it was. Our director of the health department, Annette Rodriguez, says that the government probably will not send down any more of the toxins and diseases to our lab until after hurricane season. But she did say that if another storm approaches our area, COVID-19 samples that are being kept here are considered a biological. They would also be ordered to be incinerated as well before a hurricane strikes. Michael Gibson, 3 News.